Hello everybody, welcome to vlogmas number two. Welcome to my Christmas gift guide equestrian edition. Firstly, how cute is my Christmas jumper from Lemure? They sent me this last week and I didn't know actually when to wear it and I thought right now is the perfect opportunity. It's so, so soft and the detail's so cute and it's got like a little gold line going through as well. It's so pretty, it's a lovely pink colour and I thought it matches my Christmas tree. So that's why I'm sitting next to my Christmas tree, a different, um, you know, setting today. You've probably never seen me in this setting before, but it is Christmas um, and I had to exchange the pampas grass for a Christmas tree. So I wanted to do this because I feel like buying for equestrians can be quite hard. We walk into the saddlery shops, the horsey shops, and it's just like a minefield. We don't know what to buy first. I could walk into saddlery and buy everything and the amount of times that I have done that and got home and within a month never used any of the items before is endless. I do it all the time. Equestrians always think they need everything and we always assume we need it all because everything is just amazing and we could just buy, buy, buy. But I thought why not give you a little debrief of some of my favourite products that I have used throughout this year. Um, and will continue to use throughout the next few years, forever. Um, and products that I think make great Christmas presents. Um, I will start off with a more lower price range um, products and work my way up. I mean, we are talking about equestrian products here, guys. I've searched high and low thinking what are my cheapest products and my most expensive. And my cheapest products, I've got about this many and the expensive just go on and on and on. Equestrian is just the most expensive sport we could ever get ourselves into, right? We all know that. Um, everything is pricey. <laughs> so I've done my best to try and get some lower range products um, and then work my way down, like I said. But yeah, I hope this helps you with your Christmas shopping this year. If you've got any equestrian friends, family members, partners that you want to buy for, um, I, as I said, I use all of these products on all of my ponies, horses and myself. Um, these are products, you know, every single one of these I've got. I'm not telling you to buy things that I actually haven't got. Um, this is all stuff that I believe in and I really hope that I can help you with your Christmas shopping this year. So in the description box will be all the links to all the products that I am about to list to you all and explain to you all. So let's get Christmas list shopping. Firstly the wild hair that you're looking at right now is the hair that has been at the stables all day in the freezing cold and has had a woolly hat on so please excuse the lion mess of my hair. <laughs> I'm sure none of you care but I have to address the situation. Um, secondly if you see me keep looking at my phone that's because I have written the whole list here with prices so that I don't forget so not cheating I've just got the list here and want to make sure I don't forget any items for you. Okay, so let's start with some of the cheaper, you know, probably maybe stocking fillers or, you know, lower price items for you all. So firstly, I've said the Lemure socks, the pack of two pairs of socks. I got my first pairs of these last year when I went to the London International Horse Show. Um, they are amazing, these socks. I never really bothered buying riding socks. I used to just wear old long socks of like my dad's or whatever was in the drawer. Like never bothered, just put anything on until I got these. Um, they're really thin, but they actually do keep your feet really warm. And they are amazing for riding boots because you know, it's, you're always tugging with your boot, trying to get it over your thick socks. These fit perfectly, straight over your jodhpurs, and then your boots fit over perfectly and always do up. And they're so comfy, really well wearing. I still wear mine that I bought last Christmas. Um, last year I bought the green, I think, and the grey. Um, I've now got the navy, um, the, the truffle colour. They're just amazing. They really are. And they come in a pack of two. They are around £14. Um, this is going off base Lemure website. Obviously, some places they might be sales, etc. Um, but yeah, I really recommend these. And I think they make a great stocking filler for people because you can never have too many socks. Um, whenever, you know, one pair's in the wash, you want another pair in the drawer. And they are just great every day. Even when I'm not riding um, and I've just got my big, thick yard boots on, I still wear them underneath because they're just thin enough. They're comfy. They don't always put fall down as well. They always stay up. When you take your boots off, they don't roll down or like pull off, which is the worst when you're trying to get in the car. 
um, and you just want to quickly take your boots off and your socks come off with it that never ever happens they always stay intact so i think that's a great little stocking filler i will attach all images here for you as well so you know exactly you know the products that i'm talking about another little stocking filler that i think would make a great little present for somebody um, all age groups is a Lemuria Tangle Tidy brush. Now you're probably thinking, why a brush? This is a mane and tail brush. Um, I brought this for Krim when I got him. I never realised how amazing it is, and I need it for all my ponies. It is absolutely incredible. Gets through all the mud through the mane and tail. I mean, you've probably all been there just like me, standing there, yanking the tail, trying to get the mud out. This is just amazing. It's just as good as like a human hairbrush. I always feel, feel the need to like brush my own hair with it. It's so good. Um, but I also recently discovered, which Beth, um, who comes and takes some of my photos for me, um, she told, like I see it on her Instagram that she did it to her pony. You literally use it over the mud on, like, if your horse has got dry mud on them from being out in the field, and all the mud comes off, and it's just a mane and tail brush. Like, it is brilliant. This ranges from about 10 to 12 pounds, I think, um, but a great little stocking filler or small present for somebody for sure. Highly, highly recommend these. I'll add them here and obviously the links below, um, just so you know the exact one. But they do lots of different colours also and so worth it. Next is the Lemur Riding Gloves. Now I have got the Lemur Mesh Riding Gloves. These range from around £22. Um, I've got the mesh because I bought them in summer. So they're really, really breathable um, and really lightweight so you don't get hot hands. But I've also worn them recently in winter and my hands stay just as warm but not as, you don't get sweaty clammy tight hands with them i love the mesh ones i'll attach them here i've got them in the gray um but the mesh is just really breathable like i said really movable you know they're not tight i've got other gloves that are just like all leather which i do like but i just find a bit restricted in them whereas the mesh is so stretchy and so movable so i think they're a great little stocking filler or present for someone because everyone needs riding gloves and they also come with a little touch point at the top to go on your phone when you're riding if needed so you don't need to take your gloves off to ride um sorry take your gloves off to go on your phone when riding you can keep them on and um, to keep your hands warm also next i have put the aztec diamond leggings now the aztec diamond leggings i've got these in taupe and in black i absolutely love these firstly they are super super comfy Secondly, they are nice and stretchy around the waistband, so you've not got like a tight, horrible pair of leggings on that are uncomfortable. These are literally like one of my favourite, most comfy leggings to wear to the yard. Thirdly, they are so warm, guys. I think they must be like thermal, but then in the summer they're not hot, so they must just like work for both, both seasons. I don't know, but honestly i can't recommend these enough like i need every color that is my that is what i'm asking for for christmas is some more aztec diamond leggings as i said i'll attach the images here so you can see the exact ones and the links will be below uh, these range from about 50 pounds they are a little bit more pricey but like i said i've had mine now since last year and i'm still wearing them now they're still in great condition they've got the sticky knee sticky bum um, for when riding and they're super warm super comfy really like wearable what stick them in the wash every day they don't look like any different when they come out they really are great i love them and so so comfy so really really recommend them next are the lemure yardmaster thermal gloves now these range from about nine pounds to ten pounds so they're quite cheap um you're probably thinking why yard gloves I am a sucker for always wearing gloves. Summer or winter, I'm always in gloves just because I like to protect my hands and also my nails. <laughs> I love to get my nails done, so I do try to protect my nails as much as possible, otherwise I'd have none left with the stables. It's a nightmare. Um, but in winter, obviously, our hands get freezing cold, get wet. It's, there's nothing worse than having cold hands. Like, I just can't do it in the winter with cold hands. Until I found these gloves last year from Lemieux. They are yard gloves, fully fully waterproof the whole way so you can literally just i stick my hand in the bucket you don't get wet hands and they are thick fleece fur lined like i can't even explain to you you need to go and check these out and just even if you just go and try them on in your local saddlery because i bought my second pair now so last year i had a pair this year i've got a pair i couldn't live without them like the other day i forgot them um and i used my other pair of like thin yard gloves my hands were freezing i was like i need to find these gloves because i can't do it without them they are just the warmest, warmest things. Literally keep your hands super dry and they're just the best. Like I wish I could ride in them because they're just so warm. I highly recommend these for anyone that has to spend the winter at the stables, down the yard, 
touching wet hay nets, wet water buckets, you name it, rain, everything, you need these. They are so, so good. Next are my Lane's London slippers. Now I have actually got these on right now. I'm gonna show you. This is the only product that I've got with me to show you. All the others will be images. But these are my slippers. That's a little Albie and that's a little riding hat. How cute are these? So these, like I said, are called Lane's London. They sell these online, but they are just so cute. Firstly, they're super, super comfy, so, so soft. This is the talk color. Um, and secondly, the, the badges that you can get for them are just so special. I've never seen slippers like this. Look at that riding hat. So I'll attach the link below, like I said, but honestly, these will make the best present for someone. These range from about 35 pounds, but who doesn't need new slippers and who doesn't want their ponies and equestrian pieces on their slippers like when i got these through i was like oh my goodness these are the best slippers ever everyone equestrian related needs okay next is the lemure luggage collection so i recently received the lemure luggage collection in the new color in the leather brown um i've actually got some of lemure's old luggage collection um in like the red and black material for a pair of my boots but i recently got the brown leather for some of my new boots and I've got the hat bag, the grooming bag, and the boot bag. Let me tell you, the best luggage collection you'll ever have for a question. <laughs> I mean, I don't go to shows, but if you do, you 1 million percent need these. If you don't, you still need it. My hat goes in my little hat bag. It's so cute. I'll attach all the images here. The little hat bag is literally like a handbag. It's so cute. It's got a long handle on it, so I literally walk along like it's my little handbag. And then the boot bag's got a lovely handle on it that you can hold or a long strap. And the grooming bag is so smart. Literally so, so smart. Um, these products, I just think everyone needs somewhere to put their hat, boots, to protect them, to carry them around, especially when you do go to shows. You can't just shove them in the back of the lorry. You know, hats and boots cost a lot of money nowadays. Um, so it's, you know, important to keep them, you know, well protected. But also, I think they look so smart. They do it in black and in brown. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love mine. So these range from all different prices. So the hat bag is around £39.95, so around £40. Um, may seem a little bit expensive to some, but... What I will say is it's very fleece lined inside, so your hat's very well protected. I personally cherish my hat because I did spend quite a lot of money on my hat, so I'm like, it needs something good to look after it. And it's leather, it's thick material, your hat is not getting damaged in that. Um, the boot bag ranges from around £69.95. Now, obviously that is very expensive for a boot bag, but I feel that when we are expending a lot of money on boots, um, you know, our nice riding boots, it's very important to have them well protected. So I definitely recommend them. And the grooming kit's around £59.95. Now the grooming kit is so pretty. I will only be using it for special occasions for sure because I am not putting my dirty muddy brushes in them. <laughs> but if you are a competition girl or boy, like you need the grooming bag for sure for all your matchy matchy luggage collection, absolutely. Next is an Ecra Dry Coat. Now, I'm sure a lot of you have got one of these. If you haven't, please, please invest. I got mine actually around May this year, but it then turned into summer, so I never got to wear it. And I was so excited to try it because I've heard so much about them. I finally got to try it this year. Let me tell you, I have got a lot of horse coats. Now, a lot, like my mum goes crazy at me. She's like, this is ridiculous how many coats you've got. I have not worn one of my other coats apart from this Ecra Dry coat. It is the comfiest, warmest, driest thing ever. Every time I get out of the car, I look at all my other coats in my boot and I'm like, there's nothing that's going to keep me warm today apart from that Ecra Dry coat. Firstly, it's 100% waterproof. Literally, you can stand in a storm and you're dry. Secondly, it's fully, fully fleece lined. Even the hood is fleece lined. Like, the warmth in this weather at the minute is very, very cold. It's like, where I am it's like two degrees one degrees I'm getting hot I'm having to take it off when I'm mucking out because I'm so hot in it like it is amazing and also it's super big so you can wear like coats underneath it big jumpers whatever you want underneath it it's not tight and restricted and also you can ride in it I rode in mine the other day for the first time I went on a hack 
the best thing ever. I was totally warm. It went down my legs. It kept all my legs warm. It went on Albie's bottom. So he had a nice warm bum and warm um, shoulders as well because it overlapped. And it's got zips in it so you can open that out for when you ride. Honestly, the Equidry Coat sorry <laughs> the equi dry coat has been my number one product this winter like i've to everyone i speak to they're like is that coat worth it i'm like stop right there and order it right now <laughs> they're like you try to sell it to me i'm like i promise i'm not getting commission out of this coat i just want you to know you need it it's the best thing ever so for christmas if i was opening one of those i would be extremely happy now they are on the more expensive side of things they do range from around 160 pounds um, so obviously it's a lot more expensive for a present but if you are treating someone this Christmas that would make an amazing Christmas present I can't recommend it enough especially if they're like me and have to spend you know cold winters down the stables wet winters it's the best next is a Lemur saddle pad and ears matchy matchy set now we all know we all love our Lemieux matchy matchy sets. I've got untold amounts of these and do not need any more and still buy more. <laughs> very, very guilty of that. Um, the recent colours that I got were the Espresso and the Prosecco. I think Espresso is one of my favourites along with Truffle from last year's special edition. Truffle is just insane. I'm really sorry, I don't think it's available to buy anymore. <laughs> But I highly recommend a saddle pad, ears, or a matchy matchy set for somebody because there is no saddle pads like Lemieux saddle pads. They are just the best, look the best, feel the best, wear the best, great with sweat. They really are just amazing. And they do the best colours. They always, you know, stand out and look super smart also. And if you are a fan of fly vowels or ears, um, they always look lovely in a matchy matchy set so I definitely recommend either or or the whole set for somebody I think they'd be very happy opening one of those at Christmas I don't think I need to say much more about a matchy matchy set we all know um, but yeah I opened one last year for Christmas the truffle that I was speaking about and it was probably one of my favorite presents <laughs> So you just cannot have enough of those. And they range from around 90 to 100 pounds for the set. I think the saddle pads are around 60 pounds or maybe a little bit less if you get um, like the normal material or if you get the shiny material, they're a little bit more expensive. They do range probably from around 45 to around 65, I'd say. Um, the ears are around 30 pounds. So obviously the set, yeah, is about 90 to 100 pounds. Next is a massage pad. Um, I'm not gonna say the brand, of the massage pad but you will see the image here and um, this product is very 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 good um, a very expensive product it does range from around 350 pounds there are some sales on you can get them for around 290 I think in the sale um, as I said a much more expensive present for somebody but if you are looking to spend that sort of price on somebody they are a great present because it's something you know, it's a lot of money to spend on a product, um, on one product for your horse, but it's something that lasts for a very long time and something very, very good for the horse. It massages the horse's back. There's three different settings, you know, stronger, weaker, um, for all different horses. I actually have the standard size that fits my pony Albie and my horse creme, so 14-2 and a 16 hand horse. And I've actually put it on Boo's little Boo's back, he's a tiny little mini Shetland. Um, it obviously is a little bit too big for him, <laughs> but you can get pony sizes or large horse size, but the standard size is a great size, it does fit most. Um, and yeah, I just think it's the type of product someone would love to open at Christmas because it's probably something that they really want to buy but haven't really justified spending that money on it yet um and i feel like presents are always great when it's something you want but don't really want to buy yourself in a way that's the sort of present i love um so yeah i think that would make a great present for someone obviously on the much more pricier range of things but i think it would make a great present next is a pivo now a pivo you will see here the pivo is something that you can stand on a tripod connect your phone to and it actually follows you whilst filming you so basically the pivo connects to your phone by bluetooth and an app um, and it picks up your horse and when you're riding along it literally follows you all the way around so you can film all your riding you know for if you do content creation like me or if you just want to film your own riding to look back if you want to 
keep progress, you know, keep looking at your progress, see how you do every day. It's great for that sort of thing. And it's actually in the sale at the moment. I remember buying mine for around £120, I think. It's now down to £84.99. So grab it whilst you can because it's in the sale and it is very, very, very good. I just stick it on top of my tripod. Um, you don't have to, you can sit it on a fence, you know, whatever way you prefer to do it. Um, but I've put it in the middle of the school arena um, on a tripod with my phone in it and it just follows me around. It's absolutely brilliant. I think it's such a great invention. Um, and I've seen some like amazing footage be captured with these as well in the past. So I think that would make a great present for someone. Obviously on the more pricier range of things as it's like closer to the hundred pound mark. Um, but again, if you're looking to spend that sort of money, I think it's very, very worth it. My next product is um, also on the pricier side of things again. Um, last year, when I went to the London International Horse Show, I purchased my first pair of De Niro horse riding boots. I've always wanted a pair of De Niro boots, but never really knew what the fuss was, you know, never knew what they were like to wear. I just always loved the look of them and thought they looked so nice and smart. When I tried them on, wow, the comfiest pair of riding boots ever. I personally have always struggled with riding boots. I don't know if any of you guys have. I find them pretty uncomfortable, especially when they've got the lace um, by like the bottom of your shin. I find that quite like digs into my leg, um, quite tight on my calf. I never find a pair of boots that fit me snug and you know like fully comfy until I tried these De Niro boots. The De Niro boots range from around £300. I think possibly maybe you can get them for like 2 pounds sometimes. It depends like what sort of ones you get. I got the ones without the lace um, on the shin part and wow what a difference like my De Niro boots I could wear them for hours and hours and hours and never have to take them off other riding boots I get like aches they're tight they're uncomfortable um I've never had a pair of boots as comfy as these before especially to ride in I highly recommend these if you're looking to buy someone a bit of a bigger present um these are just so, so comfy when they've not got the lace in as well. They do do ones with the lace. I've not tried them, but my ones that haven't got the lace are just the comfiest things ever. Like, I literally don't know if I could go back to, like, a lace boot. Um, I have got a pair of Ariat boots, the Palisade, and they do have the lace in, which actually are quite comfy for me. Um, but any of my other boots in the past that I've got, I've always really, really hurt. So I highly recommend the De Niro boots. And um, like I said, I picked mine up at the London International Horse Show. I ordered them because I liked it, like I wanted to personalise them. But they do have some there if you're going, and um, that you can just pick up off the shelf. And they do such like beautiful prints that you can add to them, and diamonds and different stitching and stuff, which is really nice because you can personalise them. And I think three hundred pounds for a pair of boots nowadays is kind of normal i think you know like all the other brands like aria etc they're all around 300 pounds also so i think it's great that you get to personalize the boots do whatever you want to them make them look however you want and get them for sort of the same price as a normal pair i think that's quite good um as i said i got beige stitching uh, a snake print on the top they're so nice i absolutely love mine um, and they wear really really well one of my next products um, would make a great present for somebody or even a stocking filler. It is the Lemure Vogue head collar. I've got so many of these. I've got all different colours. They do such amazing colours in these. But all my horses wear these to go out in the field with day to day. They're so comfy. They're fleece lined, um, really soft on them, really comfy, really easy just to put on and off. They've got a buckle each side so you can undo it both sides. A clip on the back so, you know, quick release if need. And they come with a matching lead rope, which is also good. So you don't have to buy extra lead ropes that don't match, etc. I think these are great for their money. Um, they range from around £22 to £25, I think, depending um, where you're buying them from. Um, but yeah, I've got a few of the colours. I've got like the burgundy, the mink, the purple. I absolutely love them. I think they're so comfy for the horses. And they wear so well. I've had my mink one and my burgundy one now for at least two years. And it, you know, it could go in the wash and just look new again. Um, but they're great for like field travelling. I've travelled mine in them before on the box. Um, and they are brilliant and super safe also. So I think that would make a great present for somebody. Obviously that's for the horse, um, but I love receiving presents for my horses, even though it's not for me to use. So I'm sure somebody else would also. Next is a product for the rider. Sorry, there's so many for the horse. <laughs> Promise to give you some more for the rider. Um, these are the Lemure Freya breeches. Now, I've always struggled to find a comfy pair of breeches, jodhpurs. I used to call them jodhpurs, but they're called breeches now. Um, 
I always used to just wear leggings because I was like, I can't have that tight waistband, uncomfortable on the leg, hard to get on. Um, and I finally found the Lemure Freya jumpers breeches um, and they're super comfy. So the waistband's really stretchy. It's got elastic in them. Um, they're never too tight for me. Like I just wear my normal size and they fit perfect. Got a little bit of room for me to move around. The legs are not tight at all, but they are tight enough to like obviously make you look nice and shaped and be tight to your leg for riding. Um, super easy to put on and off. They've got an elastic part at the bottom on like the lower shin area, um, which is great for when putting your boots on. So it's, you know, not as padded. So the boots go straight up. Um, and they've got a great sticky bum also. I can tell you that, trust me, you won't be going nowhere in them. They are around 89.95, so around 90 pounds. Um, obviously on the more expensive side of things, but I think for breeches and jodhpurs, you do have to spend a little bit more money nowadays to get a great pair, um, a great lasting pair. Mine get put on the wash, put in the wash, sorry, um, every other day and they come out looking brand new. The sticky bum's still just as sticky. Um, they've got zips and pockets. So yeah, the pockets at the front are quite deep. I always put my phone in them. Um, but yeah, I really, really love these. And like I said, I've struggled before to find a nice pair and I finally have. I've got these in a few colors. They do like gray, blue, black. Um, and they're just super, super comfy and super like good wearing and yeah, really good washable also, which I think is really important because it's such a struggle when washing jodhpurs and losing all the stickiness and the shape to them. So I think that would make a great present for someone um, as you know, we always want new jodhpurs and new outfits for riding. So a good pair of breeches wouldn't go amiss. Lastly, I'm going to finish off with another pair of boots for the rider. This time it is a pair of yard boots. Now these are the Toggy Calgary yard boots. I've had these for over two and a half years now. Mine still look brand new, not a hole or scratch in sight. They are 100% waterproof. I can walk through mud, everything, they wash straight off. Um, they're really smart also, I think. I think it's quite hard with yard boots because sometimes they can be a bit chunky, a bit, you know, cloggy. <laughs> Cloggy, is that a word? Clunky um, and not slim fitting and these are so nice. They literally look like a pair of riding boots transformed into yard boots, if that makes sense. They fit lovely with like all your jodhpurs, all your leggings. Um, like I said, I've had mine for so long now and they're very, very warm also. And do you know what's great about them also? You can ride in them. I hate in the winter having to change my boots from riding boots to yard boots, riding boots to yard boots, because I don't want to get my riding boots muddy when turning out in the field, but, you know, I can't ride in the big clunky yard boots. It's just impossible to get your foot in the stirrup. These literally just act like as if they're riding boots because they're very slimline, but also so warm, great for, you know, everything at the yard, mucking out, turning out, having to walk through all the mud, the wet and riding so i highly recommend these these range from around 120 pounds to 140 pounds depending what website you get them on um they do mean black and brown i put them in black um, and as i said i love mine and they've lasted me another winter i think this is probably my third winter in them now um, and they still look just as new so they're very very wearable also there's nothing worse than having to buy another pair of yard boots every single year because they are expensive, so we don't want to be buying them every year. Um, and I think a good pair of yard boots is very important, especially in winter. I hope you guys all enjoyed my Christmas gift guide equestrian edition. Now, all links will be below for you to do your Christmas shopping. I hope I've helped out and gave you some good ideas for somebody. I hope the person you're buying for is going to be happy with all their gifts and love them just as much as I love all these products. And thank you for joining me on another Vlogmas. And I can't wait to see you on the next one. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and follow me on Instagram. Thank you. Goodbye.